What is this you've got here? This is a scanner. Right. Really it reminds me of the old like uh, Spectrum console we used to get. It is. See that big flickering bit there? Uh -huh. That's the heart, okay? Okay. So then we go back one rib space from the heart and that bright white line at the top is the surface of the lung. Okay. So you want that to be a bright continuous line. Just a rotten foot, so it's going to need treated for its foot. Now, these haven't been in for a couple of weeks, that's the bother. And of course, it's that old chestnut, it's like when you drive around them, you might see the odd lame one, but do you worry it to death for the dog to catch it and give it antibiotics, or do you say, we'll get it next time it's in? And then something like this happens. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep is the game. And today we're doing something very different. We are OPA scanning our ewes. I'll explain a bit more about that once we get the sheep in. Got distracted by a phone call, so the sheep are all of a sudden in. Let's get a look at the girls. We haven't seen the mums for a while. They're new spot. Come here guys. Hello Fern. Come here. Good dog. You're okay. You're okay. Oh I know. I know. I know. Right, come on. Let's walk up the side quietly. Let everybody see the ewes. Lamb that snuck back in. So a mixture of cheviot meals, scotch meals, some homebred, some bought in. Real mixture. Lot of tag colours. Bought in. Bought in a long time ago. They were 77 pounds as you lambs. I think it was 77 or 67, 77 pounds I think is you lambs that gimme. She's done me well, that was four years ago. She's done as well. Right, guys, come on, they loot. So rather than me explaining what OPA scanning is, we'll just wait for the girls to get here and they can explain it. So like as you're rough and ready working there, what, uh -huh. what is this you've got here? This is a scanner for the OPA right. scanning. Really? It reminds me of the old like uh, Spectrum console we used to get. It is. Before your time, what age are you? 29. Yeah, before your time, you're just a kid. Time. Just a bear. Ebenezer, what age are you? Um, 34. 34? Yeah. Right, okay. I'm, I am also 34. What year were you born? 1990. I believe you then. Yeah. You passed it. <laughs> you passed it. Good man. The, the life's been better to them in uh, Nigeria. I've had a hard life. She's saying I look older. Oh. I look older. I mean, the better genetics, you maybe don't get uh, grey hair as early yeah, as I do. Yeah, I no, no. <laughs> what, uh, what's the Nigerian hairlines like? Better than the Scottish ones? Mine, oh, mine. Uh, it's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad genetics <laughs> over here. Bad <laughs> genetics. So we're joined by Jenna from Avondale Vets, and we've got Ebenezer here, who is over studying to be a vet, or yeah. you're just like, get your final exams to do. Yes, 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 to get my license and stuff there in the UK. And then you're going to stay in the UK and, and vet here. Yeah, of course. In Scotland, obviously. Of course. Oh, really? All the best, li all the best livestock, are. all the best livestock up. Yeah. Most of the OPAs up here, so. True, if yeah. <laughs> that's, that's your interest, this is where you want to be. Yeah, so we're OPA scanning today. What is OPA, Jenna? Ovine pulmonary adenocarcinoma. So it's a contagious lung cancer of sheep. Yep. So. And it's quite rife at the moment, is it? Or how would we you describe so. it? We think so, yes. Well, the purpose of it, we're doing a project with more done at the moment, and the purpose is to try to find out how much of a problem is OPA actually okay. in the Scottish flock as a whole. Because right now we don't know. We obviously know it's a problem in Scottish blackface sheep, but is that just because most of the work's been done in blackface sheep? We don't know. It's probably another breed. Well, it certainly is another oh, it's breed. Yeah, yeah. I th it's not specific to blackies. I no. think sometimes blackies get tarred with this brush of... Definitely. It, it's the we blackies, do. We get the bad names. But yeah, we just hope through the project we can kind of prove it is another breed and then hopefully the government will maybe let us do a bit more investigating of various other things to do with OPA. So we'll see. So one, one off, I mean, I take it you're thinking like it'd be good if they'd give you some funding for testing? I think there just needs to be more work done for testing, vaccine, but who surely, knows? Okay, so you think there could be a vaccine for it? Well, we don't know yet. There's probably I mean, not enough work done. One thing that I, my understanding of it is like, if you test for a few years, you can clear it out. You can. And you can, you really can clear it or you can certainly stop, reduce stop your problems levels. and you're okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I think we might have some. Just because a couple, last year we had a couple pining some fluid from the nose, it might have just been your traditional pneumonia. It, you know, it, you know, Pasha, it might have been, but we're about to find out. Plan is, we're going to mm -hmm. run the sheep up through the race well here, catch them about here, kind of front bit out, so we can scan either side of the lungs. Hopefully, you feel confident 
No, Hopefully. nobody's confident here. That's great. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, you look at the scanner here. Is this thing from the 1990s as well? This is a new thing. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. For this job? What's its actual job? What it scans it? small animals most of the time. Dogs For what? Cats. Various different things. Anything. Well, you can like, look at all the organs with this. Pyometra. A, the girl. A pyometra. Okay. A wound infection. All right, okay. Here you you can scan anything with an ultrasound scan. It's cool. You can right, scan okay. lots of things in sheep as well, but it's made for dogs and cats. It's not right. very possible. What else could you scan a dog for? I've got three dogs. Kidneys. Check the kidneys while check we're here. Kidneys, check, check anything. Meg. We can check, check Meg while she's here. Hearts, eh? check hearts. Right, well, Meg's like 13, so like we could give her a quick, give her everything. Quick scan. Hey, eh, may as well. Right, let's uh, yeah. aye, let's we'll get some sheep girls and we'll try it. How many are you gonna do? How many think you're gonna do an hour? I'd usually be looking to do on these maybe two or three hundred an hour. So no, what, nothing what? like it. No. If Phil Scott was doing it, you'd get one fifty an hour. He's fast, okay. but me. Not so many. Right, what are you thinking? What's your target? I hope it's not we, about the speed. I hope I we add. could do sixty an hour. Sixty an hour, so about yeah, again four hours. Yeah. Time for lunch. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> I hope we can be quicker than that, but we'll no, see. No, it's good. We'll see. Right, so I was going to manually catch them. Yep. Just so they can be a bit further forward. So I can forward. get them eye because the eyes will catch them too soon. So right, I'm on manual catch, manual release. Uh, let's open that. Right, before she jumps right. How far you want? A wee bit further forward would be better. That's perfect. Yeah, I think. A wee bit. A wee tiny, tiny bit. We'll get that. Calm down, girl. It's all right. You're all right. Going that way. All right, lass. Perfect. Right. right. You need the leg drawn forward because you need to get up you underneath get here. There, you know? See that big flickering bit there? Uh -huh. That's the heart. Okay. Okay. So then we go back one rib space from the heart. And that bright white line at the top is the surface of the lung. Okay. So you want that to be a bright continuous line. Okay. So heart. It's a wee bit tricky to explain, really, but. No, hey, it's like me trying to explain scanning. Just I'm happy if you just so if you tell me it's okay. I believe. You. Bright white line. Yep. It's continuous all the way down to the heart. Back one more rib space. The bright white line. That's just what we're looking at because OPA is usually the lung lobes down here. Yep. Cranial ventral, so towards the head and down. Okay. That's where you see OPA lesions most of yep. the time. So you draw the leg forward, you're able to see them. The heart lets you know you're seeing the right place. Okay. Back two rib spaces, up, down, up, down, clear. Okay. And so then it's just the other side. And then, and then same on both sides? Same on both sides. The both sides. You have to do both sides? You have to do both sides because you can have problems in just this lung yeah, okay. or just this lung. Oh yeah, forget this is going to be. That's right. This is going to be the bit that slows us, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to uh, do a lot of steps. And you kind of just reach around here. And maybe I could. I could try to, but because you need the leg held way for, forward. Right, hold the leg. I mean, at least she's sitting nice and still for the job. Well, this one is. Yeah. See how we go. Bees on scanning bodies. Fine. All good? Yeah, all Sorry, good. I'll just let her go this way. Something like that. She's maybe a wee bit further forward, but... It's okay. Actually, I might make it doable from both, both sides there, is it? Yeah, maybe you can if she's... If she's, she's fat as hell. Does how fat they are affect how easy it is? Like scanning if they're fat, It can do. Fat can be harder, but the area we're scanning, everything's pretty close to the chest anyway, so... Yeah, it's a lean bit of meat. Yeah. So that looks fine. Let's see, can I get that side from here? I probably can, you know. Yeah, good. Good. Oh, yeah, your table. Yeah. So the right side you need to be careful because the liver comes far forward on the right hand side and the liver can look kind of like OPA. So okay. you need to be really aware of where your probe yeah, is because yeah, yeah. if you get the liver by mistake, it can you be can a be a bit diagnosis. confused. Yeah. I've been hearing there's quite a, a, an issue with false diagnosis. There can be because really all we can diagnose with the scanner is consolidation of the lungs. So yeah. the lung instead of being nice and soft and fluffy becomes firm because it's turned into tumour. Pneumonia and all sorts does the same kind of thing to the lung. Yeah, okay. And so the difficulty is differentiating OPA from various other things like pneumonia. But the way we kind of try to get around it is we don't scan anything under about two years of age. Well, these all be older, everyone that we're scanning will be about. Uh, yeah, they'll all be yeah. older. Yeah, because if you're doing younger ones, they're just the ones that are more prone to have pneumonia. And we don't scan anything that's been housed in the past two months previously because when you house again it's just a pneumonia risk period yeah, okay. and anything that we think looks suspicious but we're maybe not 100% sure we can isolate it and scan it again it's all right girl come on 
Are you suspicious of OPM? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there was one died last year and it's like a heap of water coming out of her. Well, yeah. So I'm fairly sure um, she had OPA like. Do you find when you're gathering them, do you have some slow ones that are behind? No. Not so much? I'll tell you what we did last year. See, if we were gathering them and something was trying to get a different way or slow down, I just killed it's it. Gone. Yeah. Aye, I just killed it. So it, we were ruthless last year and actually this year there's nothing. You probably got rid of the ones that would be well, I, uh, problematic. I, I did hear a story that um, running them hard with a dog for 20 minutes is almost as effective as scanning. But For uh, late OPA, probably, but the problem is we're trying to get it before... Yeah, yeah. Before they get to that stage. And I think probably what's more important for... Is it infectious all the time? So even if it's early stage, is the sheep still spreading it? Yeah, yeah, they can be. We think that... That's fine, that one's yep. okay. Sheep, it can be spread through colostrum and milk as well. So we think that... She's a bit leaner for no reason, so... But she's an orange dot, so she's probably a bad bag. Aye, that's what's wrong with her. So that's a cull you anyway. Okay. You want to scan her, just let her go. Well... If you think if she's got a bad bag and there's something else going on with her, she probably just let her can go just go. Yeah, she's, she's culling. I think so. If there's some that are cull used but you don't really have a reason for it, we'll do them because then maybe but, they're no, the ones. No, anything that's got a tag, it's a lambing problem. Is it? Okay. And yeah. It's usually a bad bag. Yeah, well, you know who's going for what then. That's fine. Right, get up. Calm down, calm down. So yes, we think that it can be spread. Well, it can be spread through colostrum and milk. Right. So the thinking is that. If you have a ewe with OPA, really you should be getting rid of her and you should also be getting rid of her lambs because yeah. she will have spread it to her lambs and you won't have symptoms from them until they're well, a little bit older. That, that's the good thing with this flock we're doing is that everything's commercial, so every lamb gets it's going killed anyway. anyway yeah. so, and these ewes don't mix with our, our own... Uh, Just like a, the ones we use for keep replacements. They don't mix with them. So this would be a bought-in sheep. That's okay. That's good. So it should be an example of one that's late, you know, that's leading. She's either lame or... Right, so she, she's got a little lesions on her lungs. Not, I wouldn't really worry too much. See these kind of, they Just, call these sunburst lesions. See yeah. the bright white lines? Yeah. Oh, you'll know because you do some scanning anyway. Well, yeah, that it's, means it's that there's yeah. a little, when you have what they call edema, which is like fluid in between the cells, you get these sunburst lesions. Yep. See the bright white line just at the left hand side there, there's a little dip in it. Yeah, yeah. That's a little lesion on her lung. Right, so that's her heart there. So then we come back one. Okay, so see these, the bright, you'll have got, yeah, it's you've heard the, the yeah. everything. Casting a bit of a bright white shadow. That's a little fluid in between the tissues in the lungs. And then that little dip. Very small, but there's a little dip in the white line to the left-hand side there. Yep. So there's a little something on the surface of her lung. Again, it could be pneumonia. It could be just something if she's had a problem when she was younger. Not necessarily OPA, but she's probably one that if you were wanting to scan again, you would get her checked again. Okay. Check her should, other side. Yeah, should we be... Uh, if up. you want to put a mark on her, should if you want jagger? to. Well, sometimes it can be pneumonia. So yeah, what we often do is treat them... Treat them for a few days with antibiotic. I mean, she's leaner than I would expect. Yeah, um, we'll see what her other side looks like, because sometimes... Yeah, see the same again? You've got these sunburst kind of lesions. Would you give her Draxin? Yeah, you can do. A mil? Eh, uh, two and a half per hundred, so... One and a half. One and a half, yeah. Eh, uh, what should... Uh, it should be... Two, maybe? 70 even? kilos. You give him as much as that? I'd rather they had a wee bit more yeah, than yeah, a wee, wee bit, bit less, enough. absolutely. You're not paying for it, so I understand. Well, I know you're choosing <laughs> Drax and that well, is... Well, hey. It works, I know it works. It's into the muscle, isn't into it? Into the muscle for the sheep, yeah, it is. Right. So, yeah, she's got the same sort of thing on the other side. So, we'll see how she goes. Do you want Do you want to put a mark on her yeah, or something so you can on, yeah. pick what, what, her what out? I'll make her OPA mark, I'll make it a... Yeah, Confused something, yeah. with Let's something, something else. Along. That's what I'm worried about if I put them in tucking groups, but not right. That's um, how I need a rear tag number for 00481. The herd watch later. Let me write right on here. And that, that ties in because she's lean like. One. And yeah, it does. So, so these were kind of horrible ones we bought. They actually came out of our gal for like 77 quid as you lambs. We've had them for about four years, but. 77? 77 quid they were, as you lambs. Like they, were for, they were an absolute steal. Yeah, a bargain. That looks okay on that side. But they've always been kind of... They're very cleaner types. But narrower and... 
I must admit, I've had them four years now, I've never seen any of these going down many issues, so... It's relaxing. This one looks good. Good. 77 quid well spent. Look at, look at all the fluid I coming know. out here. Oh, what's this? Look at this here. Uh -oh. the thing. oh. So, lots of fluid coming out of her as she's been clamped. Yes. Straight away. Potential. In fact, I'd, I would say I'm, she'll, be, she'll be getting cold no matter what you tell me here. I think so. Um, but if you want oh, to hold that just girl. now, Tina. So, Anyone just listening to the audio, there's a sheep come in here being clamped with Tafari. Another great, I mean, there's loads running out or just now. Um, so, one great thing with the Tafari, I suppose you can argue in this point now, is as it's clamped here, it's basically showed the symptoms for us. Hopefully, I say hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not, but I would. So, see straight away those bright lines. Yep. Look at that. Wow. So, we've got the white line, it's not continuous, we're dropping down here. Yep. This is an area of consolidation, so an area of tumour in her lung. Okay. And the bright white lines, you get these bouncing off where the fluid is in between the cells in the airways. Okay. So, yes, that's an OPA. There we go. We right. got one. We right. got one. So. I'll have a look at her other side. Just I absolutely. I'm just going to put a big line down her. And pull her out to the side That's here. an advanced case. I mean, obviously. But. That's a big lesion. So what we're so trying to look at the amount of fluid. She's she's exactly. at, death, at death's door. Poor so girl. she'll be. We want to be able with scanning to pick it up before they get to this stage, so they can go mm -hmm. because they're very infectious at this point. And well, they're infectious the entire time. But if we can pick them up before this stage, it's very good. Yeah. So you see the fluid just running out there all the time. The bright line at the top is not continuous. There's little lesions in there as well. So nothing as serious as on the other side. This is an OPA sheep. Yep. Okay, right. All I'll right. just get a hold of her and we'll pop her out. I want to pop her out here and then keep her in here. Right, just let her go, Tina. Here with just a little what could be the start so we're just taking a little video of it and it's going to phil stalker he'll phil will been on a podcast has he, he farm advisory service podcast have i heard him on I that oh I'm i wonder sure. if he has uh, so hopefully you can see that there can't actually see it better on the phone we can send that on and check and we'll find out okay so probes on and it's just difficult to see with the glare. We can see it with our eyes, but probably hard to see it on the camera. But uh, you're qu quite happy. It's an obvious one. This is not and and part, part of the reason why we straight away is I missed it. On the, if I hear it's happening here, see this fluid coming out. That, that's the tapari putting a bit of a squeeze on, and all. I mean, it's just running out of there. See it here. Just running out. So I mean, even without the scanner, you, you're pretty confident in saying she's. She's a line and she'll go, we'll put her down here as well. So this is a fifth sheep. One's a possible, but the, the other three are definites. And this is another definite as well. So it has been such a saviour having this clamp. Hardly any hard work to do. It's great. Well, for me anyway, you're, you guys are doing all the hard work. Jenna, we're finished. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate your efforts there. No, oh, thank you. It went not too bad, though. It was okay, yeah. It worked very well with the... The Tapari. The tapari. Yeah, the Tapari, yes. yeah. Give them thank a good shout out. Good, keep, keep them sweet. Mm -hmm. For me, it's bad. For you, it's good. We found some. Yeah, it's good yeah. that we found some. We don't want to find some, but at the same time... When you're making do, a video about it, you do want to find, find some yeah. because it's like... I want yeah. to demonstrate what it can be like and show you that 
we can find them on scan. So yeah, and I feel quite vindicated because, like as I say, we thought we had the the OPA, we had obvious symptoms. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. um, with, with, with the fluid and previous sheep, and now we've seen, and you've seen it here on this. I mean, we couldn't have got better footage of the, the, of the most obvious symptom of OPA, I think, tell me if I'm wrong, no, is right. that bucket loads of water mm -hmm. freely running from them. Like, and it's one thing we'll need to watch in future with this Tapari clamp that it's great actually for showing you the symptoms. It is. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you know? It was very helpful. It might be a bit, you know, that, that little squeeze is all we need to get some of that fluid coming out there. Yep. And then when you put the probe on, I mean, it's I think obvious, there was, was yeah. there two or three obvious symptoms, and there's two that we didn't see any fluid. Yes, a couple that were suspicious on the scan, so we're just going to get them double checked. And, yeah. then. and what do you want to do now, moving forward with these five? Are you want to speak to see more done and see if they want yes. them? Yeah, we'll at least want a couple of them. Okay. So if you're happy, we can buy a couple post mortem just to confirm for sure. Yep. Because as much as, well, the fluid out the nose is OPA. Yeah. But yeah. the other couple, there's various things that can cause lung problems. So we want to be following up to check that what we're seeing we're seeing on scan is, is correct just yeah. to be sure we're doing it. So we'll follow that up obviously and we'll let you guys know how that goes and follow the whole story. Uh, Jenna, thanks very much again. Thank you. Uh, hopefully Thank you this is good guys. The email address is on the screen here. If you want to get in touch with the team that are doing no PA scanning that might be available in your area, I guarantee there are some of you watching this who have seen those symptoms in your flock mm -hmm. and you might be, maybe like me at first when I seen it, it's like kid, kid yourself on that it might uh, just be something else. Yep. It'll be something, it could be something, it might just be pneumonia, it might just be something else. Um, but I suppose you can only kid yourself on so long until you actually have to do something about it. Culling hard is a big thing as well. We spoke, you know, obviously I'm saying scanning is a great thing, but also there's there's that route of if you're ruthless, you know, if sheep aren't wanting to run mm -hmm. and want to lie down and with no obvious yes. reason. If they're not keeping up with the rest of the flock, that can be a big symptom. Obvious okay. respiratory issues, like Matilda with the one coming up, she said this is the next one because yep. it's heavy, raspy breathing. Mm -hmm. It's another thing. Poor condition. Yep. And arguably that could be... Well, it could be various things. But they should all be culled. Yeah, well, they should be culled. The good thing to do is get in touch with your vets and try to get them to look at some cull use every year before yeah. they go away. Okay. That can You can pick up lots of these iceberg diseases when you're doing that. So it's definitely worth doing. Good. Very good vet answer there. We'll finish on that. Thanks very much, Jenna. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Now we've got to put back some all. Terrible winds we're getting, sheep all foot vaxxed. We're out doing the rounds and we have spotted sheep here with fly strike. Sore foot, that's what's happened. That's how it starts. Too many lambs going lame now all of a sudden. Another benefit of selling lamb store. Drink spot will know the one I want. We can just drive for a minute or two until it gets a bit more tired. You see the wheel come out its side there, clear fly strike. <laughs> Here, 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 We'll shear it first, no, we'll treat it first. Let's treat it first so I can let it go, Lizzie, once it's shown. These haven't been in for a couple of weeks, that's the bother. And of course, it's that old chestnut, it's like, when you drive round them, you might see the odd lame one, but do you worry it to death of the dog to catch it and give it antibiotics, or do you say, we'll get it next time it's in, and then something like this happens? Right, that's the antibiotics done. Eh, uh, wee bit of blue spray for the foot, Lizzie. Blue spray? He doesn't know blue spray. Dad. 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 Blue spray. Long grass in here, probably not helping, but a scald. Might just be a job for the next couple of days, just bring them in and foot bath. Foot bath them. Okay, lammies, let's have a go. Take the whole lot off. You can, you can see there where Spot's pulled a bit of the wool out. He's not broke the skin, he just pulled a little bit of wool out. We can forgive him for that. Here we go. Pretty grim. We'll get it on the last side, we'll see it properly, so down we go.
So you can imagine the irritation. The lamb's actually nibbling at my leg here because it's bothering it so much. You imagine the irritation on there, on the skin. All those maggots. Now a lot of people just think maggots only eat rotten flesh, so that's a common misconception. Because the maggots out of the green bottle eat into live flesh. Next up a wee bit of crow vet, was it? You see them there. Those beasties. It's one of those things, you know, there's 400 lambs in this field. As you drive round them, if the lamb's sitting down happy, usually we just leave it and keep going on, so... You'll miss things, but this lamb will be absolutely fine. It's not like we've missed it to the point the lamb's going to die or anything. I mean, this lamb will be absolutely fine. Uh, wee bit of... That was 40 mil. Wee bit of crow vet was the blue spray. Now... Crow vet there. We'll kill, you'll see the impact that has, they just start going absolutely mad. If they're anywhere near that stuff, they go absolutely mad and start throwing themselves off the sheep. I'm just going to put some of that over the top there. And let that lamb go. Job done. Well done, Angus. You got the blue spray. Right. So we're just jumping to a little conclusion piece about this video. OPA is a terrible thing. It's not the end of the world though. I mean, it's rife. It's all, you know, it's rife in many, many sheep flocks. And hopefully there'll be some people here watching this and seeing the symptoms of that sheep and putting two and two together for the first time and realising maybe they have OPA and time to start culling hard. It's not a big deal in a commercial flock like mine. So it's not such a big deal to have it in the Scotch mules. It's not great. But it's not such a problem because all the progeny, all the, the ewe lambs off of these ewes will be culled as well. The tricky thing gets when you're keeping ewe lambs off of an infected flock because as, as you know, we've, we've discussed, it is passed over in the colostrum. So we don't have to worry about that. We can cull hard and cull anything that, that doesn't look right and, and we'll get on top of this within a couple of years. I'm, I'm fairly certain of that. I, I, I'm not too worried, especially if I stop buying in stock from other places, we'll get on top of it fast. And Touchwood, we've seen nothing in our Chivate flock and we keep them separate. So, and, and our cleanse as well, they're kept separate too. So, we stay positive. There's more to come from this. There'll be post-mortems to come where you can actually see the lungs in the post-mortem and what you're looking at. And a couple of other interesting post-mortems as well. Never waste a sheep. As Ben Strugnall always says, you should always cut open a sheep and have a look inside, even if you're just checking the livers to see if there's any fluke about. So we'll talk a bit about that in future vlogs. But thanks for watching this one. Just try to be honest with you guys and show it as it really is. We don't try and hide any issues we have. It's farming. It happens. There'll be lots of people out there in a similar boat to us. We stay positive and we keep pushing forward. Cheers, folks.